7 million plant collections, only 350,000 flowering plant species. So that number doesn't equate. Well, that's because we don't want one of everything. We want as much as we can get of everything because we're looking at two things. Morphological variation, how plants differ up a mountainside or across a valley, and also geographical range. How does a species vary if it grows from France to China? So the seven million collections that we have here encapsulate some of that variation. Plant looks different when it's a young seedling to a tall 60 metre tree. A plant looks different as it grows through the seasons, the wet season, the dry season. If a goat's chewing it or not, it will, it, it will look different. We want to capture all of that as well. A plant has to have a name and, and the name fixes the, the definition of that organism. So when we go to a supermarket as a kid with a shopping list from our mum and it says beans, if, we, if she hasn't specified what sort of beans she wants, we might go back with a can of Heinz baked beans or a packet of green beans or some dried uh, kidney beans. So you, you have to specify what it is. It's, it's all taxonomy. It's just categorising things and understanding differences. Names are... Uh, an integral part of that because you need the name to communicate the difference. We predict relationships so that people can use our science. A lot of the drugs that we take are from plants. Um, uh, the aspirin from willow for a, for a simple example. So a taxonomist will tell you again if, if we have a chemical or a drug in plant A it's more likely to be in its related sister group, its next door species than it is in a plant a long way away. If we don't understand relationship, if we don't go out and collect the plants, we, we, we can't get to that point. It's an exciting a job to get into. A colleague of mine many years ago said that a good taxonomist probably carries 5,000 plant names in their head. That's not the point. You don't have to carry the names. What you have to carry is the information that helps you to find those names. The biggest buzz I've ever had, I have to tell you, is my first ever expedition, which was to Borneo back in the 1980s, when I'd been trained up well enough by my senior colleagues to know uh, a small sector of the legume plant family well enough to realise that when I was up to my neck in swamp with my glasses on my nose, sweat pouring down, mosquitoes biting me, that the plant I had in my hand was new to science. And given that we have something like seven billion people in the world, the knowledge that I knew it was new to science and it didn't have a scientific name was a real buzz for me. And that's certainly what's kept me going for the last 30 years.